Hello Internet, Rafael from Hardware Sugar here and we have a interesting device to review for today. It is not essentially related to gaming, however, it could be. This is the AABT3 wireless Bluetooth broadcaster, branded by Airnox, sent over by Banggood. But what is a Bluetooth broadcaster? Well, it accomplishes three principal purposes. The first one is that it provides Bluetooth to a speaker which does not have Bluetooth to begin with. So you can imagine if you have an old speaker which has great sound, like for instance, this, these Altec Lansing speakers, this essentially makes your wired speaker with no Bluetooth have Bluetooth. And the second principal purpose is if you have a TV which does not have Bluetooth compatibility, you can stick this to the TV so that you can listen to the audio through a wireless headset. So you can use this and your wireless headset instead of waking up everyone in the house when you're screaming. And thirdly, this is also meant to extend your Bluetooth reach. So lots of other devices have Bluetooth, but some of them vary in terms of reliability. So the AABT3 promises at least 80 meters of Bluetooth tech in a straight line without anything blocking it. So if you have a Bluetooth speaker but you're not happy with the range, you can supplement it with this. One important thing to highlight is that the BT3 is portable. Yep, you can charge this through a wall outlet or through your power bank. After you unplug it from the charge or even during the charge, you can begin using it right away. So if you fancy bringing your old speakers which don't have Bluetooth to the beach or the pool, then the fact that this is really light and portable really helps out. It has a 1000 mAh battery and it should give you 20 hours of service time. And even if real world use would make that 10 or 15 hours, I still think that this is more than enough time you need. I was able to connect my phone to the BT3 with no problem whatsoever. You can connect your phone to it through either the old fashioned method of going into your phone setting and then selecting it from Bluetooth. But the fastest way is to use NFC in which you need to tap your phone to the NFC zone and boom, you are linked. I wasn't able to review it with my TV as I don't have Bluetooth headphones. But this isn't my first experience with Blitzwolf products. We reviewed their BWKB1 keyboard last December and from our experience, the brand makes affordable and practical products which are reliable. It is advertised to give a Bluetooth strength of 80 meters if it were a straight line and provided that there are no barriers of any kind. So this is perfect for a pool or a picnic where you just have trees and grass. But a home must have partitions and walls or partitions of any kind will always disrupt Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals. The difference lies in which material will disrupt Bluetooth signals the worst. Concrete, glass, and metal eat Bluetooth signals for breakfast, and it just so happens that the house of my parents is made out of all three. If your room partition is made out of wood, whether that be gypsum board, plywood, or any other kind of wood, then you should have better signal because wood is porous, which is just a fancy word to mean it has a lot of extremely small holes where a Bluetooth signal can pass. No such holes exist in glass, concrete, and metal. So. Let's put the BT3 Bluetooth repeater to the test. I attached it to my Harman Kardon wireless speaker and the plan is to play a song using my cell phone to gauge how reliable the signal can be based on distance and based on how well the signal penetrates through the house's structure. My Harman Kardon speakers also have built-in Bluetooth, but I turned them off so that I could gauge how much further the BT3 can get me. I set up two cameras which will record at the same time so that you can see how distance and my place in the house impacts the Bluetooth signal. Sinking music. You can see just now that although we were just quite literally below the speaker, 
The song began to get choppy because of the two layers of glass and steel I went through. It is important to note that I got pretty darn far in spite of the fact that there was a big glass wall separating me from the speaker. Now let's try it with the Bluetooth hardware already built into the speakers without the help at all from the BT3. Let's see if it will do better with or without the help of the BT3. In conclusion, just based on our rudimentary experiment, I got maybe 2 meters more with just the Bluetooth speakers without the help of the BT3. However, this doesn't really surprise me because I have been using these speakers almost every day for the past 14 months and they not only provide awesome sound but also great range. The fact that the BT3 can provide practically the same signal strength to a speaker which doesn't have Bluetooth connectivity at all is a big enhancement. I am all in favor of never changing anything that isn't broken. I have two sets of Altec Lansing speakers and they are going easily 15 or 17 years now. I would have used them to test the BT3 but these speakers are so old they don't even have an aux port for it to work with. The BT3 retails for 1,950 pesos but if you haven't bought anything from Banggood yet you can use the new user coupon to buy it for just 980 pesos. If you do, however, please consider using our affiliate code which we will place in the description below. Note that we will make some profit if you do, but our primary goal is to inform and not to sell. In conclusion, the wireless portability for the device because of its large battery is really handy. Just be careful not to lose the auxiliary cable which you need to connect it to your speaker which doesn't have Bluetooth. Connecting to the BT3 was not a problem at all especially if you have NFC. The Bluetooth range is pretty good. In total, the signal went through an entire glass wall and followed me through perhaps around 50 to 60 meters before it finally cut out. This is also taking into consideration that the speakers were on the second floor and I was on the ground. Not exactly a straight line. The fact that they provide a Bluetooth strength as good as my Harman Kardon, which is known for being a somewhat premium brand, means that the signal generated by the BT3 is on par with a 9,000 peso Bluetooth speaker. The fact that you can bring new life to your old speakers is really something to consider. Personally, speakers aren't really something that need to be upgraded constantly, and if they give off great sound, 
you should find every way possible to keep them going. We do, however, live in a wireless world and giving them that upgrade is a lot cheaper than buying a new speaker set. We were provided this review unit, but this review is our own and Banggood was not given an early copy nor any say in the reviewing parameters. With that said, can I just say that we live in a COVID world and my greatest pastime is listening to lo-fi beats through my speakers. I highly recommend you guys do the same as you stay indoors and stay safe. Till next time, I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar, signing off. And we want to give a special shout out to our top fans, D. Pryshun, John Ruben Ochia, Christian Espinosa, Mark Palania, Asher. Thank you for being the first to heed the call. We really greatly appreciate your membership and we really hope to get you out more content faster and actually better content.